Last time on the Saddle Club. You're exploiting us because you know that we've got our backs against the wall. Do me a favor and crawl back under your stone. What was all that about? Doesn't sound good. Uh, most of these horses ready for adoption, then. Approximately half. Many still require some form of rehabilitation before they can be adopted out to a new home. What about this one? Storm? I'm afraid we've done all that we can do. His schedule will be put down next week when the vet arrives. I pick this one. Lisa, I don't think that's quite what Max had in mind. Please, Red, we've got to do something. I can't just let him die. Lisa, we just don't want to see you get hurt. You know, maybe the shelter has another horse that's a, a little, well, friendlier. I don't want another horse. I want this one. And I'm going to show you how wonderful this horse can be. Lisa, are you completely blind? That horse is vicious. <laughs> and first chance it gets, it's going to hurt you. What is it? It's the bank. Max took out some big loans, and now they want to be paid back. Pine Hollow's broke. made some serious money. Pine Hollow is broke. What? It's a secret. Lisa told me. They need money urgently. How much money did we earn? 30, 40, 45. A grand total of $17.45. It's a start, right? Yes. Okay, next step. How do we give it to Drew without letting on that we know about the issue? I know, we'll offer Drew a loan. Mm. A loan? Why would I need a loan, Melanie? Uh, because loans are made up of money. And money is one of those things that loans are made up of. Okay. Sit. What's going on? Um, well, Drew, we know... You were told by Lisa that Pine Hollow is broke. I see. Drew, we have $17.45 and we want you to have it. Girls, <laughs> look, I appreciate the gesture, but it's not as bad as it looks. Really? Now, I'm sure you've got better things to do around here than worry about me. In fact, I think there might even be some ponies on this property that need to be ridden. I did promise Eddie I'd take him out for a hack today. Mm -hmm. And I'm likewise. Are you sure? I'm sure. Everything will be okay. Go on. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> there must be something else we can do to help Drew. Yeah, but you heard him. He won't let us give him money. But what if he were to find it? I'll be right back. Just so I'm clear now, you're asking me to resurrect your singing career. Like you ever got it going in the first place. Sorry, late. Milkshake, please, Scooter. Start on this. We're talking business with Scooter. Our business, singing. I thought we were going to discuss Pine Hollow being broke. <clears throat> Ladies, now you know that I believe in your talent. We need to make money. Okay. 
all those famous singers out there now had to start somewhere. You don't begin with a platinum album and $40 million. Then what are we looking at? Like our last gig here? We got nothing. Uh, you got exposure. And exposure is very important in the beginning. Uh, look, I've got to go. I'll put my mind to it, and might I say, I'm delighted you've still got faith in me. I won't let you down. So, is that our plan? Well, it's something. Stevie and I went through everything we have, and even if my dad let me dip into my trust account, we still only have a couple hundred dollars and some cents. Some cents is mine. I have a plan. When Storm is back to normal, anyone can see what a fine horse he is. We could sell him for maybe a couple of thousand dollars. Storm is a foster horse, so even if... What do you mean, even if? Nothing. I'll get your shake. What the... Seventeen dollars and forty-five cents. <laughs> Morning, Storm. I brought you something. Pretty good carrots. <laughs> Very tasty. <laughs> Very juicy. <laughs> Come on, you know you want it. Hello, girls. I'm here to see Drew. Drew's not here right now. He was down by the dam. Oh, that's OK. I'll wait in his office. I've got an appointment. I know that guy. He's from the bank.
going to try something a bit different. You work with him. I'll be right here. You're okay. Lisa, now, very slowly, stand up and walk backward towards me. It's okay. Bill, please take a seat. Can I offer you a drink or anything? Uh, perhaps a coffee? Yeah. The moment Max took over the running of Pine Hollow, his mother was so proud. I remember that moment as if it was yesterday. Really? I should. I took that picture. Over the years, I wish I'd done the same. I was more at home on a horse's back than I ever was in any business suit. But the bank, that was in my family for generations. But that choice between the head and the heart is never an easy one. Bill, we can work this out. Now, I've spoken to Max. If you could just postpone everything till he gets back. Max has already missed several substantial deadlines. But this, this course he's doing, Bill, it could put Pinehole on the map. We'll double the business easily. I have never seen anyone put as much of themselves into their business as Max has. And if there were anyone I would want to see succeed with their dreams, it would be Max. But I have a business to run as well. I'm sorry but I have already given you more time than I can afford. You have to come up with the overdue loan payments by the end of the day tomorrow. To come up with that kind of money in 36 hours, that's, that's impossible. You know, Drew, and I've talked to Max about this before. The acreage surrounding Pine Hollow is very valuable. The sale of it would be more than enough to get you back on your feet. That land has been part of the Regnery family for generations. And there are several local developers who would offer you a very good price for it. Now you think about it, and you let me know what you decide. I'm truly sorry, Drew. It 
can't be true. Drew can't sell the land around Pine Hollow while Max is not here. Doesn't look like he has a choice. But where would we ride? Stevie, he wouldn't do it if he didn't have to. Hey. I was thinking about Willow Reach. Oh, well, Daddy said he could get me into Ballantry. They have over a hundred acres of groomed trails. But isn't there a 12-month waiting list for that place? Uh, not for everyone. <laughs> Drew hasn't even sold the land yet, and you've already got another stables picked out? How can you be so heartless? I'm being practical. There's a difference. Do you have any idea how boring it will be to have no trails to ride on? Mrs. Wright won't let that happen. Oh, get a clue, Stevie. There's nothing she can do to stop it. Yeah. We'll see about that. OK, that's it. There's got to be another way to get Pine Hollow out of debt, besides selling the land. Or singing. If there were, don't you think Drew would have thought of it by now? Oh, well, he could raise the board. Or charge more for lessons. Or... Stevie, those are all great ideas, but they're long-term. Panhala needs money now. I still say there's got to be a way. I'm sorry you've come back to such bad news, Aunt Liz. Max wants to drop everything and come back home. I spoke to him. There's no point. And I had a talk with Bill Roth at the bank. There's nothing Max can do to help the situation by being here. We need money, and quickly. I told him we might have to sell off the land around Pine Hollow. Look, Drew, what's important is that Pine Hollow Stables continues to operate as a riding school. So we have to take whatever steps necessary to ensure that that happens. Including selling off the trails? Once you face the worst and looked it fair and square in the eye, things seem to get better. It's good to have you back, Aunt Liz. Oh. We'll get through this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get through this. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come okay, on, Lisa. Come now on. try and get him to change his gait. Remember, it's all about tone. As you Come ask on. for the transition, you step towards his hind it. end to push him forward. Perfect, Lisa. Now I'm going to introduce the whip. I'm not going to hurt him, and he needs to know that. in my locker. It's about this rich guy who invests in local community projects. Turns out the press loves that type of thing. Well, there were so many reporters wanting to interview him that he had to hire a secretary just to schedule all the interviews. Hey, wasn't he on TV? Yeah, I heard his daughter even got a movie deal out of it. If only we could get him to invest in buying a hollow. Why don't you just ask me straight out? Huh? We're having a private conversation, if you don't mind. I know what you're trying to do. Convince me to get my father to put money into Pine Hollow. That's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, no, it's really dumb. What's in it for me? Well, we have had a lot of fun here. Uh, speak for yourself. The saddle club spoiled my fun most of the time. Nice try. 
but I wasn't born yesterday. Hey, I've got an even better idea. Which is? A high paying gig will help matters. You've got us a gig? A high paying gig? Well, don't look so surprised. I am your manager, aren't I? Yeah, but you never actually managed to do anything for us so far. Harsh, Carol, harsh. Where is the gig? At the Sweetwater Mall. How much are we getting paid? Ooh. $1,000. $1,000? Now, Scooter, take a deep breath and pinch yourself. What was our appearance fee again? $1,000. We want it in advance. What? You've let us down once before, Scooter. Up front or no deal? Huh. Right. $1,000. It was me crazy. $1,000! Red, please. It'll be okay. He didn't mean it. You just frightened him, that's all. I frightened him? He made a mistake. No, Lisa. A mistake would have been picking up the wrong cantilead. Not trying to mash me into a fence post. That horse is clearly unpredictable and dangerous. I, of all people, should have known better. I don't know what I was thinking when I agreed to do this. You were thinking we could help him. Well, I was wrong. There are some horses you just can't help, no matter how much you'd like to. But you don't know that! Yes, I do. I'm sorry, Lisa, but Storm just does not belong at Pine Hollow. But if you take him back to the shelter, they'll put him down. I wish it could be some other way. But Storm has left us no choice. And please, don't do this! I'll be returning Storm first thing in the morning. Until then, for your own safety, you are not to go near that horse. Is that understood? I have to go tell Drew.